So the Houston Rockets are looking to trade Kevin Porter Jr. with draft compensation in wake of the charges of felony assault and strangulation due to an attack on his girlfriend, allegedly. You guys already know what's going on. We're just going to talk about the trade. This year is the first year of his contract extension. It's the only year guaranteed. So they're probably calling up like the Spurs and they're like, hey, Spurs, can we give you like several second round picks? You take Kevin Porter Jr. and buy out his contract or just straight up waive him and just pay him for this year. They're basically calling around the league and seeing if they can convince somebody with draft compensation to take on his salary to just straight up cut him and I don't blame him all right that's kind of what I would do and the teams that besides the San Antonio Spurs who the Indiana Pacers Orlando Magic Charlotte Hornets Spurs Wizards and Pistons are all teams that probably could just straight up eat his salary it seems like if they wanted to do trades like that with again San Antonio being the most likely because they can send them a veteran or somebody like a Devontae Graham Doug McDermott but let's just get into the report from Sham Sharania and what we're hearing about Kevin Porter Jr the man that is allegedly going to be traded sooner rather than later as he is facing charges now this must be worse than the i mean it's a guy who has the history i think it's just people are just done with him but let's just get right into it so again before we continue there are going to be references to the case so if you're you know i guess the word would be if you guys aren't good at dealing with you know bad stuff just let me let me know down below and ju- uh, not let me know down below just tune off this video so they're working on a trade and supposedly the rockets have contacted multiple teams offering draft compensation as an incentive to take on kevin porter jr who has this year 23 24 season guaranteed for 16 million dollars 15.9 to be exact of the four-year 82 million dollar deal he signed in this scenario they're using porter's contract the rockets will be using his salary to target a player under contract who can play immediately and help the team the rockets are keeping all options open with the future of porter so that's the big thing you guys need to understand right there about kevin porter jr and what they want they basically want someone that they don't have to freaking you know wait till you know he's not suspended because they're expecting he's going to be suspended now the Houston went out and got Emma Udoka, Fred Van Vliet, Dylan Brooks, drafted Amen Thompson, and Cam Whitmore. The NBA has already launched an investigation into Porter following the alleged incident on Monday against his girlfriend. And again, it's going to be interesting because, again, I think it's going to be a team like the Spurs. OK, it's not going to be a good player, uh, not going to be a good player like the Pacers. Like, I don't I they probably are calling up the Pacers and being like, would you guys give us Daniel Tice and TJ McConnell for Kevin Porter Jr. in a first round pick? They're probably calling up Orlando and saying like, hey, can we just switch Jonathan Isaac for Kevin Porter Jr. in a, a pick? You know, they're calling up Charlotte maybe and they're saying here, I don't think they would do that, but you know, they could go out to Charlotte and be like, give us Gordon Hayward, we'll send you, you know, Kevin Porter Jr.'s contract and I believe, I mean, that would be about $15 million. They would have to shed, like, they could send them Kevin Porter Jr. and a combination of, oh, I don't know if they'd do that, but they'd have to send, uh, like, one contract to get the deal done. But OKC is another one. They could send it to OKC and OKC cut him, and they'd be like, OKC, would you mind sending us, like, Jeremiah Robinson Earl and Jack White? those are those are very 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 possible deals that could happen but the the fact that this is all going down is it's pretty crazy just to see what's going on and how it's how it's happened because a lot of people probably had no idea that kevin border was going to be traded i didn't know okay i didn't i had no idea they were going to go out and try to trade him I personally thought they were just gonna move on and do whatever they wanted in terms of 
like just deal with it internally. I didn't, I actually didn't think much of it. That's if I had to say so. I didn't think they were gonna do anything. I thought they were just gonna wait, but I mean, they're moving on. And the team that is considered taking on Porter's salary via trade would have to keep in mind the optics of taking on a player under felony assault and strangulation. All right, which means like, could be going to jail for a minute, guys. Could be going to jail for a minute. And we don't know for how long or, f cause there, I, look, I, I've heard some stuff in the reports that don't make sense in terms of somebody to, today on our show, somebody was saying that she, she came out and said she hasn't even spoke, given the police like, I believe it is like her, her testimony yet. So I don't know. And obviously we, I hope Kevin Porter Jr. figures out, but if they, the team that does trade for Kevin Porter Jr., they, they would have to weigh whether they're receiving enough draft picks for essentially an aspiring contract that they would waive immediately upon trade, or if they're waiting to actually believe that he's gonna be, you know, a part of the team, but the guards not expected to attend Rockets training camp in early October. And the allegations here are horrific is what Adam Silver said about the situation. So it's not like a good one. Okay. No one's going to sit here and be like, Oh, this is ideal. This is, you know, rainbows and everything. But I do want to hear your guys' opinions on who should we expect as a potential, you know, guy to watch that they could target. Uh, I'd like to think that, you know, like I said, there was, there's also the Wizards that they could hit up like Landry Shamet. Dude, they should really just be calling up the Wizards. Let's be honest, okay? The Wizards would be the team that probably can give them or be most willing to, to work with them. Okay, the, we're rebuilding. So call up the Wizards. We got, we got guys for you. We got guys for you guys. If you need, you guys, we got you. Okay, because hey, for the first time, what seems like forever, we're actually rebuilding and like it feels good. It feels real good. Now, that's basically it. Uh, I, I can't even tell you if there's any more information on this because we really don't know besides that Kevin Porter Jr. I heard it. I honestly didn't think he was going to be out of the league, but they're now saying that more than likely he's going to maybe not be in the league. But and, and that's that's awful to hear because he was a talented player, and I th I thought he had redeemed himself, or you know it seemed like he was doing a good job of working on himself because, like, look, we all knew what his past was and. Like I knew that he was a guy that had trouble, but it seemed like he was getting better. Okay, or we'd hope, but that's it for me. Peace out, bye.